Hey Jumbo, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Today I wanted to show you this build. It has two nuclear amplifiers, Kestrel drone and the needle weapon. It performs very well, if played correctly. <laughs> so, in this first game, I'm going to show you how this build performs against a full squad from Japan, made in Japan. And uh, to start with, I decided not to fight those three guys there. It's better come and grab this free beacon here. And uh, now I'm trying to do some corner shooting. And look how much damage this guy is taking. With the Castle drone, double nuclear amplifier and one repair amplifier, this thing is very good. Um, also, it is excellent uh, dodging uh, the Reaper weapons using your dashes. If you don't have a dash, then you are dead. <laughs> so, I have grabbed that beacon, I've killed the Capri, now I'm grabbing this beacon. So totally until now we have grabbed like three beacons, we have killed one guy until, the day, uh, until now. So we haven't seen actually how much damage this thing does. But now you can see this Capri uh, Angler. Uh, this is a full maxed uh, Angler from Made in Japan. And you see how fast I managed to kill it. You also get some speed which you don't necessarily need it with the Typhoon but it is also helpful so here there are three guys and they're trying to send the rockets to me and I was like no I cannot just sit there and receive the damage <laughs> it better I hide and think what to do so I realized that um, uh, there are three guys but one is on the beach one is on the gap so I decided to go for the guys on the gap uh, hopefully I can kill him and if I do so then it will be amazing to show you guys this build so we have killed three maxed one-on-one -on -one, uh, bots and uh, now hopefully we can kill this fourth one um, I have been trying different builds uh, the weapons on this uh, are not yet maxed and uh, once maxed, I think it is going to perform even better. So I typically don't like to follow the trend whereby players, um, they go with only one type of build. I try to have my own build and I find this one performs very well. Here I managed, they managed to kill me because I was uh, one on two. So now this uh, second game is, uh, um, I think mix squad or UN versus uh, the enemy and uh, I will also show you how that build performs so I've started with my um, siren here um, just a quick note all the things that I'm showing here is after 9.2 update but before the actual rebalance is effective so this is still we are on the older um, before the nerf and buffs of the weapons and um, bots and all that. So just a, a quick note so that everybody understands. <laughs> so we are doing amazing here. We have three beacons. The enemy, they look like they don't want to push. So we can just sit here and do our damage. Um, I have also a different build for the siren and this one has armadillo drone so every time i get a kill or get a beacon i get uh, defense points which is amazing for uh, you can call it a camping bot or a distance bot because the more kills i get the more defense i have uh, this build also has double nuclear amp and it does a lot of damage but uh, it lacks that uh, defense so using armadillo it can give you a very excellent uh, defense but sometimes in many games uh, you don't get the kills and if you don't get the kills then you get killed uh, pretty easily so many of my builds are more skill related uh, builds compared to the standard builds that players make they try to balance it between the survivability and the amount of damage they can do but with me, every build 
is different. If I decide to do damage, I want to do damage. If I decide I want to uh, be tanky, I can be very tanky. <laughs> That's how my play style is. It depends really how I want that bot to perform. So now we are back on the nether needle and look how fast this guy went. Now he's on his last end, but this was a little bit unfair because our teammates were also shooting him. So we couldn't really see the amount of damage uh, we could do. Uh, one of the downsides of uh, this build is the 150 meters. That is uh, the downside. And second is this uh, Lynx bots. They are very difficult to kill. Um, I will manage to put him on his last stand here. No, he's still not on his last stand. He used his face shield. Now he's on last stand. So this you have to uh, consider that Lynx bots are going to be difficult for you to kill if they have their stealth. So I was thinking you can also change it, use the Kestrel drone maybe with two double uh, um, repair amplifiers and uh, maybe and then use the quantum radar but um, I haven't tried that one but uh, look how fast this angler was killed um, so on the right environment and uh, if you play it correctly then uh, this build performs really well um, yeah as, as I say that the downside is also the weapons are only 150 so you have to also consider that. But if you play it right, man, you're going to perform very, very well. So this is one of the secret builds that I have and they perform very well now. I am not 100% sure yet after the rebalance comes back. There was a, big, a bit of hiccup there and I got stuck. I lost a lot of health. But uh, now hopefully we can kill this guy. And uh, you have seen how much it's done, this, uh, this uh, Nether, you have seen how much it has done. So it's very, very good. Um, but all my builds, they really depend on the skill. They're not like the standard builds that everybody does. Um, but if you are interested in improving your game skills, this kind of builds, they pay off very, very well. So. Um, I have managed to max my Rook Titan and I have been also trying and testing so many builds for that. Um, but I haven't found anything which is uh, as good as the Minos is until now. Uh, I like the way Minos has its uh, uh, two dashes or two fast movements. I like the way uh, Minos has the shield, so it overall for me performs very well because sometimes I need the Titan to run for beacons and this one does well. So I'm still trying the Rook Titan, I managed to max it a few days ago, but all the time I tested, all the builds I did, they are all not good to me. Um, you can say that you use the titan to defend the beacon but in that also it fails i've played so many games and most of the time it failed me so i'm going to think on a on a build that is going to perform exceptionally well and uh, in future i'm going to show you a video about that as well uh, also i was considering that because i haven't played the rook before it's just the first time that I'm testing it. Maybe I need to get used to it to understand more the abilities and the, the other stuff. So that is how the Rook Titan went. And uh, uh, as far as the Rook Titan is and also um, how the Nether I have built uh, this Nether, which performs exceptionally well to me. And um, um, if we look at the game now, the enemy are uh, struggling big time. Uh, their beacon bar is nearly drained. And uh, this was just one of the games that I wanted to show. Not because we are beating the enemy, but I wanted to show you the Nether build. And uh, this, um, 
is uh, how this game went. If you enjoy content like this, you know what to do. Uh, have a great time with your family. Thank you very much and bye-bye.